Hi, and welcome to Morning Coffee with Pizan Academy. I'm Deanna, and today I want to talk to you about an interesting article that I read from Gastro Obscura. Gastro Obscura is the food branch of Atlas Obscura, and this is an organization who put out videos and articles about interesting cultural facts and history and just all sorts of kind of strange and peculiar things from around the globe, whether they're modern or from the past. This article was by Vittoria Traverso, and she wrote about this archaeobotanist from northern Italy who is trying to understand past fruits by looking at paintings. Now, an archaeobotanist is an archaeologist who focuses on plants. So Isabella Dalla Regioni is from the Umbria region in northern Italy, and she grew up in a pretty rural environment, and her father was a farmer and was interested in collecting older growths, vines, and plants, and trees from around the region in order to preserve them. She went to university and studied agronomy and focused on the culture and history, particularly of fruits. And this inspired her, as well as being from the same town as the Renaissance artist Piera della Francisco, her research inspired her to look at historic documents and try to figure out what plants and fruits were being grown in this region in Italy. So fast forward some years, and in the mid-2000s, Isabella went to a 16th century palace that had an amazing historical archive collection and started going through the papers to see what kind of fruits and vegetables were being grown in this region dating all the way back to the 1600s. Now, while she was in this room going through these archives, she would look up at the ceiling and there would be painted with all these sorts of frescoes, and they may have mythological scenes, but they would often have borders that would include fruits and vegetables and plants and she realized that there were things all around her that she was seeing all the time these frescoes and this art that captured what she was researching so not only was she finding the documentation listing out the crops that were yielded and in this time period a lot of farms would rent out land to farmers and in return for letting them farm they would receive 50 percent of the profits so there was very rich agricultural production by all of these farms in this region for centuries so what isabella was now inspired to do was to look at the paintings of the masters now the particular frescoes at this palace were painted by a student of Giorgio Vasari, who was an artist and also an art critic, but he encouraged his students to paint from real life. So they would have been painting these fruits and vegetables and plants from what they saw around them. And so now she's been inspired to go and look at a lot of these Renaissance paintings. She's looked at paintings in Germany and around the world by these master artists in order to determine the types of fruits that would have been available that may not be around anymore. And what she has found, interestingly enough, is that there's a famous painting of a Madonna with a pear in the frame, but she found that this isn't actually a pair. And there's been so much written by art historians about the presence of this pair and what it means in terms of, you know, interpreting it and what the artist was intending, but she discovered it was actually an apple. And in another painting that identifies a fruit as a flat apple is actually a pear. So what she's doing is not only identifying and then she goes and tries to find these plants in old fields and she's been successful and when she finds them she'll take them back to her farm and generate new plants. And you can even go online and adopt a plant and help preserve the past. We'll put a link to this article and her website in the description below if you're interested in learning more about her work. What's really remarkable is that in addition to the archaeological and scientific discoveries, she's also revising the way we think about art history in terms of these Renaissance paintings. Her work is really interesting by looking at paintings and trying to identify these past fruits and vegetables and plants. Now we have an activity on our 
parents resource page where we encourage kids to do this by looking at paintings and still life paintings and then going and trying to identify the flowers or the animals or the fruits that are in these paintings. We'll put a link to our parents page in the description below so you can watch the video on science activities that you can do from home and download those worksheets. We'll put a link to the Atlas Obscura article in the description below as well and a link to her website if you're interested in learning more about her. If you're enjoying our videos, please like them, share with your friends, hit that notification bell, and check out our other social media. We'll see you next time and thanks for watching.